Good morning, Leo. This is Renee, and welcome back. Leo, we're going to take a look at your messages, what we have for you this week. So, if this message resonates, like and subscribe. So, let's take a look. What do we have for Leo? What messages do we have for Leo, please, for this week? Messages for Leo. Okay. Ooh, I'm feeling it. The Ace of Swords, the Knight of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands. What else do we have? What messages, Spirit? Okay, the Four of Pentacles. The Five of Cups, Five Five so far, Change coming through for you, okay, the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Swords, okay, at the bottom we have the Queen of Wands energy, okay, so, with this Queen of Wands energy, I feel like you're taking action on something. There, there's some exciting news that you're going to receive. Um, I really feel like with this Wands energy that, you know, you're gaining a lot of confidence. There's someone coming forward for you in confidence, you know. And someone's being very bold and daring. This is a very feisty person. This is someone who's very flirty. And I feel like this person is coming forward to offer you some kind of invitation, some kind of gift, right? They're here to offer you um, some kind of date when it comes to this person. I feel like you may know who this is. Uh, this may be someone who you felt had walked away or someone that you thought was too busy to pursue any further interaction with right with this five of pentacles energy and this ten of wands energy i feel like you thought that this person was maybe too busy to um take notice of you right but i do feel like this week, there is some kind of increase when it comes to this Four of Pentacles energy. This could also be you being able to um, really watch those dollars, watch those pennies, so that you can save for something that you've been wanting to save for. Uh, because I feel like you're kind of conserving your energy. You're protecting your energy a bit. And now with this, for some of you, with this King of, King of Cups, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're saving up your energy for a better offer. Because you know there's... And I feel like for some of you, there's someone else that you're interested in. So I feel like even though you find this person very attractive, even though you find this person very flirty and like the interaction, I feel like you're kind of conserving your energy because you're waiting on a better offer. Okay? For others of you, I feel like you're building up your income so that you can save for something that you've been wanting to save for. It could, I'm, I'm getting some kind of home improvement, some kind of um, fixing that you'll be doing to your house. Maybe you'll be remodeling it or re, uh, redoing your, your kitchen or bathroom. That's what I'm getting. Um, but there's something that you're building. There's something that you're doing. Okay, you're putting in these efforts to start this project when it comes to some of you. Now, my beautiful Leo, I feel like, you know, this week is going to be full of a lot more clarity. I feel like this week your mind is really, really sharp with this Ace of Swords here. I feel like you're going to have a lot more new ideas. That's why I feel like there's some kind of home remodeling that you're doing. There's something that you're doing with your home because you're putting in a lot of thought into this week. 
you know you're using that that great thinking skill that you have right and I feel like you know that's where this four of pentacles comes in at because I feel like you're saving for something there's something that you're saving for okay and I feel like it's something to do with your home okay um, we have the five of cups energy here at the bottom so I feel like there's going to be some kind of situation we have we're going from the ten of wands to the five of cups to the uh, knight of swords at the bottom so I feel like there's some kind of energy that you know you are kind of releasing and I feel like for some of you I feel like your plate is too full okay I feel like you're taking on too many projects at once so there's some things that you're going to leave behind because you don't want to work too fast you don't want to overthink things and overextend yourself you don't want to think too far ahead in the future. That's what I'm getting. That's the feeling I'm having with this uh, Knight of Pentacles. That you're not trying to look too far into the future. So you're focused on something that you can get finished in the very short term. You know, something that you can finish very quickly. Okay? So let's go ahead and clarify these cards. I feel like you're going to be very busy, though, this week, Cancer. I feel like there's a lot of movement, you know? Give me a message. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Give me a message for the Knight of Cups. Give me a message for the Knight of Cups, please. The Knight of Cups, we have the Three of Pentacles. I feel like whatever this offer is, this offer originates at work. This could be someone that you work with, someone that you see very often. Um, with the with the Five of Pentacles, we have the King of Swords. We have the Queen of Swords right there. So I feel like, you know, there's someone who you feel is, You feel like someone's too much to handle. That's what I'm getting. You feel like someone's too much to handle. Maybe that this person is too wild. Okay. For some of you, I feel like if this is feeling like you don't have enough for a situation. I feel like you're overcoming those challenges. You're overcoming some kind of challenge that may be overburdening you with this Ten of Wands, right? You could be overcoming those burdens, you know? The Five of Pentacles is a card of feeling like you're lacking something, feeling like you're not worthy, feeling like you know, you've been left behind, uh, left out in the cold, you know, ignored, okay? The Ten of Wands, this is energy of being overwhelmed, having too much to do, not having enough hands to carry everything, you know, uh, something weighing very heavy on you. Okay, give me a message for this Ten of Wands. the wheel of fortune yeah what did I tell you things are moving things are moving around things are getting better as far as things that were weighing you down things are now getting better they're now looking forward with the four of pentacles we have the nine of swords so I feel like you know this is the after tarot so I feel like there may be some kind of long-term project that you were scared to pursue but now you're kind of rethinking the situation and actually cutting that down into smaller projects cutting it down into something that's more doable for some of you i feel like you could be coming out of some kind of worry um you're not worried about a situation any longer because 
you are feeling like it's going to work out anyway. I don't know why I'm getting that message. Okay, why is the Ace of Swords here? The Knight of Wands. Definitely. Whatever thoughts that you're having, whatever new ideas that you're having, I feel like you are running with those ideas and you're putting them into action. And because you're putting them into action, I feel like a lot more things are coming into fruition for you. Okay? That's the reason why we have this Wheel of Fortune here. Because you're putting things into action and you're starting to think things through. And a, a project that you're starting, you're working on finishing it. You know, you're putting in that action. You're not, you know, letting something just sit there. Okay. Why is the Five of Cups here? Very interesting reading. The Temperance. Okay. There's something that you're letting go of, Leo. But I feel like you're doing it very slowly. You're like letting something go in a process, right? Like, okay, I'm, I'm kind of seeing you sifting through clothes or sifting through things in your home and getting rid of them slowly, okay? Maybe you're decluttering. Hmm, maybe. Okay, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Queen of Pentacles. The King of Swords. Yeah, there's no abundance coming in for you, Leo. You're getting more income and it's starting to make you feel more secure. You feel more stable in your situation. Okay? It could be that you are clearing the clutter or that you are um, doing some kind of remodeling because some kind of money has come through for you. So now you're, you're using that money very stably, very solidly by reinvesting it into something that you know is going to make more money in the end that's what I'm getting because with this king of swords energy you know you're being you're being very disciplined when it comes to your finances or you're trying to be more disciplined because there's something that you're trying to build. There's something that you're trying to um, build up. You know, maybe you're building up your finances, building up your investment portfolio. Um, hmm. You could be building a new home, putting money into your home. Yeah, we have the Four of Pentacles again. So something that you're building, you're looking at the long term. You're looking at long term stability. You're looking at where these, these, where your money can work the best for you. Okay. I really feel like this is really a financial reading. Wow. Okay. If you're open to love though, you do have an offer. Tell me about this. Knight of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Two Knights. Yeah, with the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like you're trying to slow yourself down. You're trying to get into a better headspace. You know, you're trying to think more logically, but also be more practical and more stable in your thinking. Right? Um, you could be working on a situation by yourself, you know, doing a lot of soul searching, seeing where things are going to come out the best for you. 
you have that hermit energy at the bottom. So I feel like I feel like you're looking for answers to something or you could be spending a lot of time alone. You know, you could be spending a lot of time alone when it comes to thinking about situations. We have the four of cups and the seven, excuse me, the eight of pentacles. Yeah, you're spending time alone. The eight of cups, six of pentacles, four. Yeah, you're you're spending time alone. The nine of pentacles. So I feel like whatever you're doing, you're you're doing this in your spare time. That's what I'm getting. You're doing more things in your spare time. You're using your time wisely. Very interesting, Leo. Okay, give me a message for Leo. Let's get an angel number. Okay, we have, yeah, creativity. I feel like you're putting a lot of creativity in things. That's the reason why we have this Ace of Swords as your middle energy, you know, as your overall energy. Keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express the beauty that is within you and connect you to the love that is around you. Okay, your affirmation. Creativity is my birthright, and as I express my creativity, I feel the beautiful flow of love and connection. Okay? So I feel like during this week, you're going to have a lot of creative ideas. You know, they're bursting through this week. Okay? So let's go ahead and get your oracle message. What do we have for Leo? That's way too many cards. Okay, we'll take this one. Okay, we have Wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. Okay? So... Okay, let's take a look and see what wish means for you. The number 35. <clears throat> and please forgive my voice. My voice is starting to go out. So bear with me. Okay. The number 35, a wish. A wish is about to come true for you. Daydreams could become a reality. And what your heart desires will manifest. Tremendous emotional happiness and fulfillment will surround you. To get really clear on what you're wishing for, close your eyes right now and make a wish. What do you see? Feel the emotions of what you are visualizing. See and feel how happy you are now that your wish is coming true. Open your eyes when you're ready and write down your wish immediately. Place your wish in your wallet where you can see it daily and place it under your pillowcase overnight. This is a very powerful card and your positive energy will help manifest your wish. Okay, in relationships, write relationship wishes on pink or red paper and put the paper right next, excuse me, in the right side of your wallet. Remember, if you are asking about a past lover, sometimes the universe may deliver a new lover into your life, as this may be what is meant to be. For wishes surrounded family, display a photo of them with the wish written on the back in the living room in a pink frame. For baby wishes, keep a picture of a baby with your wish written on the back and keep it in your bedroom. Okay, for money, this card is all about your wish coming true. Place your wish inside your red wallet. Make up business cards with your ideal job on it and dream business as though it is already happening. Light red and gold candles with a word rich, wish scratched across the candle. Okay. And your power tip, 
Place the Nine of Cups Tarot card or the Ace of Diamonds playing card in your wallet and watch your dreams start to become reality. Be careful what you do wish for. Okay, so set your intentions and be very clear about your intentions, my beautiful Leo, because I feel like what you're wishing for is about to come true. Okay, so my beautiful Leo, that is what I have for you. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.